turn it over to you, bud, and to get started. And then I'm going to leave it up to you whether you want to answer any questions. Usually we answer them at the end, but if we, you want to do any throughout, let me know. Sure. Why don't you let me take over the PowerPoint? So and I'll share my screen. Thank you. Yeah, go for it. All right, so um, I'm Bud Shaw. I'm a solution architect with GSI. I think I have my camera on there somewhere uh, so you can see what my face looks like. That's an obviously, as we do on on Zooms we or, or these meetings, we take an older picture so we look better. I'm, I'm much wrinklier and grayer at this point in time in my life. But um, so uh, I've uh, been working with J.D. Edwards for now almost 25 years, um, and I'm an across-the-board functional guy. Uh, so I'm a natural to adopt into the user to find objects for personalizing JD Edwards. Um, and today we're going to focus in on personalizations and more specifically form extensions and some of the new enhancements to form extensions that allow you to unlock and unleash the power of your JD Edwards applications. And I'll show you what I mean by that when we when I get into into the present in, into it here. So. Um, uh, their form personalization, form extensions are the, really the two UDOs, user defined objects, that you, you can use to personalize your user experience in the, at the application level. So you can see here where form personalization, form extensions have overlapping functionality to uh, personalize the forms. You know, uh, pull hidden fields, fields that are in the view, but not on the form, bring them in, move or things around, reorder the sequencing of data entry, um, changing labels and things like that. Uh, and they, those are, can be done in both form presentation and form extensions. Um, but then when you get into form extensions and what they can do, you can do a lot more powerful things and primarily some of the highlighted ones will be able to, like calling an orchestration to do a, to automate the process and really um, unleash your power, your JD Edwards, by giving a user one button click to perform activities or launching an orchestration based on data input on a field and things like that. But there are other functionality in here that um, inform extensions that really make make them more more powerful. But there always was a problem with form extensions versus personalizations. And the, the, the extensions were very powerful and very useful, but they were limited to one extension for an application. They uh, wrote into the um, into the, uh, the specs for the application. Uh, so there would be only one version, uh, only one, one um, um, form extension for the application. It would not be able to be set up to be version specific or so you could only have just one. So if you made a change to the to the form, uh, it would be for everybody in your organization, which was not desirable. So in release 23 in April, release two, nine, two, tools 9273, uh, they enhanced logic extensions, and if you're not familiar with logic extensions, those were came in release 22, which were a part of the orchestration uh, platform, the Orchestration Studio, allowing you to put logic into your orchestrations. They'll be able to do if then else's and file IOs and table IOs and reads and uh, uh, th those kind of logic in it, even more moving into aggregations and analytics and things like that in, in those releases. But in, re in April, they uh, enhanced the logic extensions to allow you to set up and do form controls. Uh, within your application. And then, so therefore, you're able to do a form control change and then based on the version of the application. So uh, there's uh, the enhancements that we're gonna be looking at is the form controls and then using those in the form extension. So logic extensions and form extensions are the two pieces that we're gonna focus in on here for this presentation today. So the effect of this, uh, what we're doing here is to be able to change the behavior of the form extension based on the version. On my left, I've got uh, one view of this is the lease information from Lessee Accounting, for example. And I picked, pulled Lessee Accounting. I mean, this is kind of a standard 
uh, role kind of goes across most organizations. They have less, you know, uh, they they have leases that uh, um, um, uh, non-property leases that they have to track and lessee accounting. Uh, was somebody asking a question there? I don't see your screen. Sorry, bud. What? I'm talking away and not sharing. <laughs> oh my gosh! I did all of that without. Oh, I'm sorry. I will try to fly back through that then. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Sorry, but I saw it for a second and then it went away. Okay, uh, I'm sorry about that. So, so this was me. This is the highlighted topics of the different features that form personalizations and form extensions can perform. Uh, as I talked about some of the things that they can do, but then form extensions, uh, have enhanced features that form personalizations do not, including things like adding orchestrations and calling orchestrations um, and some other uh, functionality that very pow they're powerful and useful. Um, but the issue then was that form extensions were only one per per application. Uh, they could not you know, have a version like you do in form personalizations. You when you save the personalization, you save it for the application and the version that you're using. Form extensions didn't allow that. So what uh, the, re the enhancement in release 23 in April that came out, as I mentioned here, nine tools 9273, um, was to allow the logical extension to have form control features in it, um, and then form extension to be able to call that, uh, logic, that, that logical extension and then map in to the array or or, uh, or just the data set in your logical extension. This will make more sense when I go and show you it uh, actual, show you it live um, to map the fields and, and buttons and things off the form that you either want to, to hide or show or even highlight. Um, and we'll be doing some of that where you can uh, uh, color code and highlight fields on the form. So um, this is a uh, screen, am I showing okay, Brooke now? Better double check. Yes, you are. Okay, thanks. Um, so here's the effect of it. And this is, uh, as I said, a lessee accounting. I've used that one. I've got some other examples we'll go into. But uh, this is lessee accounting where the screen on the left is for one user um, based on a ver the version. And that would be, uh, you know, in this case, my demo, uh, ZJDE001. Uh, but then the user on the right who uses version ZJDE003 has a different look and feel. The button to view the asset is not there. Uh, some of the other fields, the dates, things that you that user would not be able to uh, access and use and see um, are, 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 not, uh, are not are not available to them. So you can change the the uh, the you know the um, you, know, you know the way people access it. What, what you would do in a form uh, personalization, you can now do a form extensions. So looking at the uh, uh, logic extension enhancement, and we'll go into it. Um, you can see there's a new uh, pa uh, new icon in the palette for form control uh, function. Um, and this one we had, I said, was to hide uh, controls. So we're going to go and I'll show you this one live. Uh, this is checking the field value. This is going to check the field value of version. It says if the version is this, if it's true, then we're going to go and hide some controls based on the mapping within the form extension. Um, and if, if it's false, it just goes on through. So different different versions, uh, and so you can build on, you know, multiple versions, multiple features. Uh, so then in there's a form extension enhancement to take a look at that uh, uh, form control in the mapping input. You can see here where I've highlighted the version name that we're going to, that you're allowed to map into the form, the logical extension, and then do that if, if else a statement uh, based on the values that were passed into it. Then once you're mapping through it, here is because we've got a array of fields that we want to hide or highlight or whatever, um, you're then mapping in by, uh, just like you do when you're, you're doing a, an input um, for uh, any other orchestration call off a of form 
former extension, you map the fields um, from the from the from the form into the the, the controls that you want to hide uh, or show or highlight, depending on what your logical extension uh, 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 is. Okay. So now let's go and jump into the system and see it. Um, and let me see here. Oh, you want to turn this camera off? Do do do. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just in <clears throat> in a demo environment here. And put things in the chat. Brooke will interrupt me maybe if you you know if you have a question or something. I don't like to make people wait till the end. Uh, you know, because you don't, then you're not focused, listen, paying attention because you're thinking about your question. So, uh, Brooke, if you mod uh, monitor the chat, I'd appreciate that um, or Q and A. So, um, the first thing we're going to do here. So, I'm in my my studio, um, and hopefully, you're familiar with logical extensions at least somewhat. They did were released in release 22, and as I talked about this, they keep getting enhanced in here. So, I'm going to look at the logical a logic extension in here. And I've got a, a few to pick from, and I'm going to say uh, uh, conditionally show or hide, hide fields. This one here, right? So this is very. This is the one that we saw when we uh, I, in my in my slide, right? So what we've got in here in the beginning, um, in it is the the data setup, right? When you're defining your your data parameters, you'll see there's a new feature in here in the data type called a form control list or it could just be a specific form control. I'm using a form control list that I want to map in uh, from the form extension um, and also the version, which is just a, a string data input that we're going to bring into this logical extension when we uh, uh, add it to our, our form extension. So the, the, uh, the, the diagram, the mapping of it, as you can see in here in the, in the uh, if else, right? Uh, is is the version ZJDE003. Um, and if that's true, then we're going to hide controls. This has uh, different uh, control functions, show, enable, highlight, uh, disable. So there's more than we can do just in our simple hide. And then these are the controls to hide. Um, and you'll see when we, we go and map those in. So from a, from, a, from a logical extension perspective, there's this one logical extension that you could use across the board in pretty much any of your applications to hide certain fields, hide controls. Uh, to, to do them. And after I go through this one a little bit, we're going to come back and we're going to go into highlighting control. So this is one where you can highlight, you can see where you can color code things. I'll show you that in a second, uh, second example uh, as we go through this. So, but the first one here we're going to go through is, is showing or hiding uh, 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 controls, right? So if I go down into my, into my JD Edwards uh, environment, my HTML. Okay, so um, uh, into JDE, if I go and my favorites here, this is just a the Lessee Accounting Manager UX one page. If you're not familiar with it, you know we could go into that and based on going into the lease the less lease manager. Lease master, we could invoke that same uh, logical extension that I'm talking about. But if I go in here, I've got two uh, different um, uh, versions of the lessee, uh, the lease master. Uh, the first one is um, uh, ZJDE001. The other one is ZJDE003. And if you remember, just a minute ago, I showed you the logical extension that uh, quest queried in server the version that was the logic that the form extension, I'm sorry, queried what the, uh, what the version of the application was. So as a user, I go into the application here. And if I uh, go into, uh, you know, say I go into to Ford Motor Company, right? Um, and you can see here, it's a full on view, including Viewing the asset, which is a button to an orchestration uh, on on this particular form. 
And what we've done, what I've done in here is uh, added a, a call, right, to the orchestration. So I've got an orchestration associated with the whole, uh, was that 1501 uh, application. And you can see here, I've got a logical extension that says uh, that's the, uh, the orchestration, that's the view asset button. But then I also have the logical extension added in here to conditionally show or hide fields uh, that I that we that I showed you. So the orchestration it could be notifications, but in the logic extension for certain users, um, I might not want to allow them to do that lease asset button. And there's other fields on the on the form that I would not want them to see. So when you invoke your logical extension. Uh, here, here it is in here, and you're going to go in and start. So here's the first thing we're going to do is map in the version name. Remember the the logical extension set query that says if it, if it's ZJDE 003, you know we're going to do we're going to hide the fields that that were 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 mapped in here, right? So if I go back to mapping the inputs, this is the fit mapping the forms control, and here's the array. These are all the fields that we would that we would map into to hide from that from, from from the user if the version is ZJDE003, including the uh, the 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 orchestration button in here. Um, and uh, it's a little bit, you know, uh, I don't know, you call it kludge or whatever, but you can, you know, if we add, you know, fields in, I'm not gonna say this, we could add the terms of lease by by clicking it in um, and 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 taking those off. So that's the uh, definition and the mapping that is at uh, at the uh, form extension level, right? Um, but this is the admin user, so they get to see everything that uh, is on the on the screen here. Now, if I'm using the other version and by security, probably added to a different user, uh, we would you know they would go into this version of it, lease information. Uh, we can call in there. We can find our Ford vehicle if we want. Do, do, do. Oh, well, I forgot what I called that. Well, we'll just go into any one of them. So notice we go into this one now. Some fields are missing. My button is missing based on that mapping of the version into the uh, into the um, uh, the logical extent the form extension um, and called it and invoked by the form by the form extension that's associated to it. Okay. So the other uh, feature to uh, enhance your ex your users' experience and uh, personalize uh, what's going on, uh, I'm going to go back in here. So if I go into this uh, logic extension uh, to highlight fields in here. So this one uh, have the same uh, assignments in here. We're gonna check the field value. We're gonna say if the, the job cost type, so we're going into a different area of the system, job cost. If the job cost type is JB, right? That we're mapping in from the, uh, from the, from the field, we're gonna show some controls, right? And there'll be a list of, of controls to show. Um, and then we'll also highlight some of those controls. So you can highlight, you can uh, just show them or highlight. There's so some of them, pick a color to, uh, uh, that you want to highlight those fields in there. So if if I'm calling up a job, a, a, uh, uh, um, a, um, a project or a job cost, you know, job that's valued in the job type is a JB, I'm going to highlight certain things and I'm going to uh, uh, show certain controls that uh, wouldn't uh, normally show or, or and or highlight. So in here, so if I call up some jobs, um, let me find my, so I've got a, just a, um, I think I got, I should have some JCs, might be a different so if I go into this uh, job, right, um, everything is, is quite normal. Look at the master for it. But if I go into the business unit as, as a JB,
you see how I'm highlighting and color coding some of the fields that are displaying on the screen. I'm also showing a button that I didn't have for the other users. So for this type of job, I've got a button and an orchestration associated uh, for that particular user. And these, again, are, these are all uh, user-defined objects. So, um, you know, they're, they're uh, upgradable, portable, uh, build them out in your dev environment, promote them to PY, and then fit to production based on your web OMW and, and things like that. So, um, but the main point here is that uh, these are all uh, features that, uh, you know, enhance your power of JDE and really solve that issue of one form extension per application for all users. So that is what I wanted to cover here. I know it's a, we're ahead of schedule here, but maybe we can open up for questions. Do you have any in there, Brooke? I see one Q and A. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do oh, have yeah. one so far. Hi, Don. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi, Don. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. I see the question. Yeah. It's yeah. actually going to be on our YouTube channel, so um, that'll be up later today. Mm -hmm. And then we send out a little reminder, like with a little link, you know, if you want to rewatch it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We still have a little bit. We still have a little bit of time. Does anybody have anything that they didn't follow or understand um, in it? You know, go ahead and 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 ask. We can go off in a different direction. But you know, those are that's really you know the power that I wanted to touch upon for this new feature and the new enhancement. So awesome! Thank you so much. But I'll cover a few follow ups before we then move yeah. into. Yeah. Um, some more Q and A's. If you want to give people a little bit of time too, we just gave them lots of information. So mm -hmm. we'll yeah, read that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> it's it's not a tough enhancement to uh, 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 to set up. So as I showed that that one logical extension that can be used in multiple. So um, and of course we can get more, more robust than the one that I, that it really did. So um, okay, there's my oh thank you Brooke. There's I was going to say put my email up there. If you yeah. have any, something comes to mind afterwards, just shoot me a question. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. So we, we do have a bunch of educational resources, which is we do obviously these webcasts. I'm sure you receive our newsletters, but we also have a YouTube channel. And then on our website, we have information on events and workshops that we're doing as well. So be sure to stay up to date with all of that information on our website at getgsi.com. And then go ahead and follow us on social media. This is a really, really good way to be able to keep up with everything that we have going on. We share industry insights, what we have going on. Spotlights Bud was featured a couple of weeks ago in our spotlight. So it allows you to get to know our team a little bit better as well. And um, also today there is um, an entry to win an Amazon gift card and anyone that attended the entire presentation We'll receive that, so I'm going to go ahead and chat that out. Um, you'll be able to be entered to win, and then we'll let you know. I'm going to chat that out in a minute. And it looks like we do have another question. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into that, bud. Okay, bud. Susie said, with form extensions, are we able to give security to the application across multiple roles and then just fine cut on the menu to limit access with a form extension? In theory, replacing things like row security. Um, you, the security for these UDOs is different. Um, you use P98220U, um, and there you can uh, secure who gets access to the form extension in this case based on a role or specific user. Uh, and whatnot. So you do really, you're not really doing menu security and what you're used to in the, you know, major roles and then fine cut across the menus, right? It's it's at the form extension level um, and P98220U. Take a look at that application. That one's been out there for a little while. Uh, and when you generate the form extension, you will then request to publish it. Someone will approve it and then uh, share it uh, with like I said, either role and or user security along with it. So it's an additional level of security on top of, you know, row security. So what fields you may or what 
business units or something, that is still a security level at the JDE core level that uh, the form extension would not, you know, override, right? Um, it, it it's still invoked uh, within within that level. I hope I hope I explained that clear enough. Yeah, no response just yet, but yeah. um, yes, yeah. Susie said okay. yes, thank you. And you can always reach out, Susie. I can, with just a few minutes, I can walk you through what that's all about. Um, and as, as Brooke said, you know, um, I just did uh, a YouTube post. If you're looking at, at anything in release 24, uh, I just did one to teach you how to, because one of the exciting enhancements in release 24 was the capability to put a location on hold, right? Uh, inventory location on hold. And I did a, a, a webinar to walk through how what ESUs you apply with, even if you're not release 24, just the tools and what ESUs you would apply to take advantage of that feature and how to set it up and how to use it. Um, and then in two weeks, we'll be doing another one of these. I think it's of February 8th um, yep. on more features, page flows, stuff like that. Um, watch a badge watch list and stuff like that. So. I try to do at least one a month uh, of features, and then of course, if you're gonna if you can get to Blueprint 4D, hopefully we'll be presenting some more. So, yeah. but reach out with any questions you have. That's what that's what we're here for is to help you guys. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and chat out that link, and then I can also chat out that uh, link to you, the YouTube video you were talking about as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let me just yeah, sorry. There right. wasn't there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of functional enhancements in release twenty four, but there were a couple of really good ones. So more tools. Again, always tools. We got a lot of good tool stuff. So and I, I, I you know I, I I'll be doing one on that one soon coming up in tools where uh, you can uh, uh, you know do notifications with reminders and uh, that that kind of features. Those are new tool features and. If you're not familiar with notifications, you can now then put reminders on them, and uh, there's actually you know follow-ups and stuff like that, almost like kind of like a workflow uh, feature. So, all right. Thank you. Um, okay, so I will stop there. So, right so um, okay. Well, first of all, Bud, thank you so much. We really mm -hmm. appreciate all of the amazing info that you always bestow on us. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We're really grateful that everyone wants to come learn with us. And um, I just sent out that chat for the um, enter to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And then I'm gonna leave this open just for a minute, just to allow you guys to grab any links. Um, and then we also have the, um, the video that Bud just did. I'm just grabbing that YouTube link for us real quick. I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to go ahead and just leave this open for just a minute. But again, thank you guys so much and thank you, Bud. And we hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Now you sent that link. It says to all panelists. You, did you send it to everybody or just panelists? Everybody. Thank you. See, this is why I have you. Yeah. And you know, feel free, guys, if there's something you'd like me to touch upon, especially new features and tools, shoot me an email and say, I'm always looking for ideas because um, I, I mean, I have my ideas and from from what customers and people I talk to, what 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 people are interested in, uh, send me your ideas, you know, and I'll, I'll put something together and and work it through that, that I, I would really appreciate that. So. Awesome. Thanks so much, bud. Thank All you. Right. Everybody. Sorry, Thank you, know. guys. All right. Awesome. Welcome. Take care, everybody. Right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>